we're back. Uh, on Her Majesty's Spliffing. Uh, Her, Her, Her Majesty's Spliffing is quite a different we, one. We've, we've had a look into it and we're very, very yeah, we, stupid. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. We, we, we went looking at a walkthrough. Well, I am eternally been, ashamed. You so am I. For the so, safety instructions. The thing we had, we had it the whole time. Yes, it is. Oh, good God. Is that what I think it is? What? It's Clippy. Oh, it's Clippy. And the word says... Why? Is the humble paperclip. A stable oh, of any adventure game that's all over the track. achievement. Oh, that's pretty. What was even worse is the fact that it did the, 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 um, the, the snow says, what when you figure out a puzzle as well? Yeah. So we we'll use this for this. Probably break the floppy drive. No, no. You... Let's see if prodding this around fixes anything. Yeah, I mean, when you try to unstick a CD drive, you want to play for the it because it's a hole. Anyway, so we now have. You need to blow the drive. I bet you that's what it is. Because we still have to save onto it, don't we? Blow the drive. I don't believe the isolation of space is full. It's empty. Lacking in substance. Listen, I've downloaded the drive I need. Now I just need to save it onto something so I can install it in the cockpit. Okay. So now that we've got the floppy disk out, we put it back in. And this time it goes green, so that's going to go. Interact. Hmm. Very odd. It won't let me save onto the disk. Because it needs to be blown. <laughs> Maybe. I can't seem to save onto it for some reason. I can't seem to save onto it for some reason. Oh, copy protection enabled. Uh. That explains that. We'll agree to disagree about that. I'm not, I, I, I don't have to disagree with you because there's quite clearly a floppy drive port on the front of the actual computer. I mean, look. Yeah, there is. I CD drive, drive floppy drive. Now I just need to save it onto something so I can install it in no, the can, car. Can you imagine Fantastic. if you saw that you've got a copy of this stuff. driver? Well, I've still got a stack of floppy disks in, um... Yeah. Not there. There we go. I mean, use it for like the channel. I'll, I'll, I'll remember using it. Well, uh, these are... 3 megabyte. Oh no, that's... Oh, that's, the, that's that building, though. That's, no, that, it's, a, it's a company, they make sticky stuff. They also make a freaking building. Oh, yeah. sorry, oh, gosh, is that the time? It'll be starting to get dark outside. Uh, Let's see if anyone else can see these drives. 720 kilobyte. So, so we could save... So we could save absolutely. about 10 seconds of video onto it. Or, if we ever use safe state and stuff... It's safe state and stuff. ...can be stored on something so complex. And actually, we probably could use the... You know what I said? There's, 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 I've got this thing, the Florence Time Machine. I could use it to use yeah. the Undertale shortcuts. I've got several shortcuts based on one yeah. where you fight so I've games. actually got a, a few games on, on a couple of those. Yeah. None of them, unfortunately, work on Windows 7 because they're so bloody. I mean, some of them were written for Windows 3.5 3. or whatever it was called. Yo, fool. Now, Lieutenant Jones. Alan, wake up. Wake up, Alan. This is useless. He'll be out for hours unless I can think of another way to wake him up. Cheese! I have a cheese in the glove. Unfortunately, Terry is one of three things Sub Lieutenant Jones is allergic to. The other two being early start and manual labour. Ooh. I remember, um, you need to open saw games. Mm -hmm. uh, That's what stuff is tolerated in the workplace. I'm not allowed to slap him around the face. Of course, that'll wake him up. <laughs> What's going on? So Are you playing up for you? I'm but, sorry. I don't know what came over me. So I'm not allowed to slap him with a rubber Someone else was in control of the whole Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, exactly. Just give me the drive so we can GTFO. Oh. GTFO. Get, Get the things out. functioning and online. It Ooh. is one of your acronyms, FFS. For future scenarios. Yeah, sure. Equip. Wave floppy drive. Yeah. Install this, and we should be underway again. 
Uh, you could have used my USB pen, you know. What? Is that another one of your acronyms I'm supposed to know? Actually, yeah, universal, universal Serial Bus. Universal Serial Bus. Ha! <laughs> serial Bus. I know you're just making that one up. You know, that's one of well, the, Royal, the, I've got some good news and some bad news. Which questions. one do you want first? Really? Yeah, uh, what is this piece done for? Give me the bad news. Give me the grim, demoralizing reality first. Then ensure I quickly forget its severity with a light-hearted human interest tale, preferably involving a cat and a musical instrument. All right, boy. Well, the bad news is that before this drive will work, one of us is going to have to descend into the dark depths of the ship to perform the emergency systems reset procedure. You mean turn everything off and on again? Yep. Yes. But the good news is, it's a one-person job. So only one of us will have to do it. And it's me. Uh, presumably I will be the one doing the legwork, as usual. Well, if you want, we could make it seem like you had a choice in the matter. Here, we'll flip for it. Heads or tails? Really? I'll say tails. Tails never fails. It's heads. Blast. You didn't even flip a coin. I can't help but feel that somehow that was always going to happen. What fates impose that men must needs abide. It yeah. boots not to resist both wind and tide. Gosh, the writing on this voyage just stepped up a little. Mm. I was borderline Shakespeare. Aye, borderline. Right, borderline. It probably was. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, if I was a bit more well Shakespearean read, I'd, I'd be able really to recognise. But I'm not. Well, you're a uh, uh, Lovecraftian. Yeah, yourself. exactly. And I'm pretty sure that wasn't Lovecraft he was quoting. Yeah, me too. I mean, admittedly it was all fate and gloom. But... I haven't been up here long already. I think I've started to lose muscle density. Yep. Da down the hole. Am I stuck? It's a Mr. Incredible thing. On a more positive note, it would appear my bone density has remained unaffected. Why well, do you just have to tell Arlo that is to go down because you can't fit down? Well, on the other hand, I could go to the kitchen and get some grease. That leads into the sitting room. Or I could, alternatively, grease the hole with cheese. I think it would be best if I did something else with this. Yes, I like eat it. My old English cheddar cheese. Oi, look what, you gonna go down there, I can't fit there. No, skinny man. Aren't you supposed to be downstairs turning the power off and off? So, Lieutenant Jones! I go! I go! I go! I doubt continually quoting Shakespeare verbatim will improve things enough to get us that Writer's Guild nomination. <laughs> there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. All that blisters isn't gold, boy. I'm pretty sure that means, yeah, it was. Mm. The seat of power. The seat, seat of power, yet your uh, oh, no. is getting this new thing. Well, I think I know what we're supposed to do. What? We go to the sitting room, and then we exercise until they're thin enough to fit down the hole. Be... Why else would there be a treadmill here? So... What's that one called? Cardio Rush. Cardio Rush. Sorry. It looks knackered now though. Yeah, but you can still... Yeah, but he's thinner now. Oh yes, so he is. See? You want a job done around here, you've got to do it yourself. <laughs> that was possibly the stupidest solution I've ever seen to a puzzle. What a... What a thrill. Oh, a map of the lower decks. Research lab. Uh, is that here. blood? Yes, yeah. that is blood. Emergency power Biological research. testing facility. Oh god, we're an umbrella. 
Yeah, okay, 24 hour weather update, gallery exhibition, outdoor outdoor attire. Um, oh, that's in the airlock, of course. And biological testing, emergency power oh, reset. The, in the, air, the airlock's the, re, the emergency exit this time. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. So we have to go to the and research lab. Well, our options are airlock. this airlock, which, if I'm reading this right, leads to, yes, the actual airlock. So, that's to the outside. Exit in Exit Imperialese. Oh, an air compressor. I would assume no, you'll need that for the... Um Okay. Wait. No. Oh god, it's plug and play again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. Maybe that has been coming. Maybe it's stre yeah, it's like it stretched through. The <laughs> it stretched it so you could wear it maybe. Yeah. Let's examine the rubber block. MJ bothered the pair to clean some blood on the dance floor. <laughs> Only returned the one. It always was bad like that. Air protection must be worn. I don't feel suitably dressed to be heading out. No, you aren't. You aren't. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard. I remember when they talked about keeping BBC3 in. Oh, that wasn't a bad idea though, that was a good idea. Everyone loves BBC3. Except those that hate it. The air protection must be worn, caution, blah, blah, blah. So, do we have to go fishing? We have to go fishing around in the cat litter box. Yeah, remember yeah. there was the shiny thing in the cat litter box. Oh yeah, but what is the shiny thing in the cat litter box? I assume it's some part of our... Um, Go outdoors equipment. Or fetch quest. The depravity that goes through some people's minds. If I'm not going to rummage in there wearing one pair of gloves, I can hardly see why I would with two. Oh. I don't think they'd get along. I have no idea then. Well, should we? Well, this is why I, I went for it. Uh, yeah, pause. Well, well, okay, we're going to. Let's pause. look yeah. up a result. Uh, okay. Okay, well, right, it appears that we missed something results. fairly obvious again. That's that being that we have to the Yeah, that being that we can apparently get to the engineering area from that bit down the ladder. Well, uh, also, that we could have. There was another way of getting down this hatch. We could have taken the washing liquid from the kitchen. To be fair, I remember when we played the scene from the series Escape from the on the PS2, mm. I was stuck in like one of the first chapters for like months and months. Oh yeah, I see, I see how this worked. There we go. Because um, what it was is you couldn't get to the mo you couldn't get it, you had to stop the guy from, from, from you know throwing up to the mono. Yeah. But in order to do and so to get the lawyers from the to do that you'd stop the guy, but to do stop the guy to be able to get the lawyers, you needed to go into the mono. Mm. You didn't to the guys from Cap. Oh god. But like, you had to basically get a drink. Observe what the, what the sign on that button reads. Emergency. Brexit. Oh god. <laughs> it's the same as destruct. Yeah, it's just as the self destruct touch. No, it's so like. It's, it's, it's all it was, I remember when we won the game. I think I nearly didn't think I was going to trade it in. In fact, yeah, I did trade it in, and then I did it again, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to try and get it to out this one. And then I, I looked up online and where it was is there's a deep guy in the bar that you need to get under the dark place before he finds room so he can get his snack to give to the guy. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, look, we've got a motorized screen I'm sure this will come in. Wait for it. Have it! Hey! Oh. I can't use the... I doubt combining these two will prove to be particularly useful. I say to the boys and Adam. Ah. That makes more sense. See, yes, you can stretch it. Yep. Just kidding. Of 
course, it would make more sense if you just simply reach up your own cold mid down. say that the lower deck was sealed off because of a thing, and there was blood stains on the sign. And there's a freaking lab. Yeah. But what, what kind of spaceship doesn't have a freakish bar on there? Well, that's not on board, but... Um, yeah. it appears to have been replaced by... An under... Oh, gods, no. Not another airplane reference. Wow. Well, there was the autopilot, who was an inflatable... Oh. Oh, it's, it's, it's a double the autopilot. Skyed off. See, autopilot. Mm -hmm. But also, isn't that a ca isn't that Edie from Mass Effect? It could be. I don't know. Call me old fashioned, but I prefer the more natural look. Ah, <laughs> uh, you'd have to go find him in his bedroom. Yeah. Uh, I see uh, the autopilot's working. Unlike uh, Sublieutenant Jones. Ooh. But is he not working? Or is he? Dead. Is, uh, is he just in front of the team? Um, the f Oh, there he is. He's assembling a Hot Wheels track with a big spanner that's making the wrong sounds. That spanner should not be making that sound. So, Lieutenant Jones, I do. What? What you're tinkering with there, Jones? It isn't... It isn't our reconnaissance robot yard is assembling, is it? Well, but... Funny story. When you were downstairs attending to that very complicated, laborious task, flicking that switch on and off, I'd been running a variety of pre-mission calibration tests on the Beagle 2-2. I presume that's why the floor's covered with bits of toy Hot Wheels tracks. <laughs> Firstly, the fact that this modular vehicular pathway simulation system happens to be mass-produced and branded as a children's toy is irrelevant. And secondly, yes. Okay. Why is it? That's all well and good, Sub Lieutenant Jones. However, if I recall correctly, we were specifically advised that the Beagle 22 tended to function significantly better when its complicated array of electronics and mechanical components were positioned inside its aluminium housing. Mm. Look, I just have to make a few minor repairs. During a centrifugal force oh, resistance God. simulation, the rover proved exceedingly resistant. So it uh, flew off the loop the loop bit. And that would be a valid interpretation of events, yes. What do you Sounds mean? like I'm going to be required to go on some kind of scavenger hunt. What do you need to get the rover going again? For the time being, that's all I feel I'm obligated to offer, yes. I think the rigorous nature of the uh, test may have burned out the main motor. I see. So, I'll have to find something to create some sort of electromagnet that'll revolve when a current is passed through it. it. I'd have to fashion a pulley system of sorts to drive power to the wheels. Something with a taut elastic band should do the trick, like an alluring undergarment. Now, if I was to remove the elastic... So I need to find some elastic underwear and a screwdriver. You could just always grab me a spare. Is there a cupboard for them? Did you notice anything strange there? I don't suppose you noticed anything out of the ordinary earlier when I was performing that emergency systems reset procedure. Specifically, immediately once the power came back on. No. Why, should I have? Well, well, well I don't know. Probably not. The guy mentioned it. Be sure to put your toys away when you're done. Yeah, he's given the motor a skill driver. I don't 
suppose you'd have any use for this premium German motorized screwdriver. Ah, cheers, Bert. <laughs> Stop looking at Jones! What are you doing? Relax, Bert. Relax? Do you have any idea how expensive parts and servicing are for that thing? <laughs> Look, I have an idea. I'm oh. sorry, I presume that was the motor I could smell burning. Look, oh. we can replace the motor in the Beagle with the motor in this screwdriver. It's probably more reliable than our own spares anyway. <laughs> Great thinking, Sir Lieutenant Jones. Why? It's intuitive thinking like that that won us the war. Of the independence? Oh, no, no, the other ones. <laughs> okay. Now let's find some underwear. No, I think it's explosive. For the last time, by Jove, it works! In 600,000 yards, your destination will be on the right. You've reached your destination. So, Lieutenant Jones, we've arrived! The new, new world! Quickly, break open the container of property of ER2 flags and prepare our landing party! As much as I'd love okay, to jump onto the surface and soak up the radioactive atmosphere of this uncharted, most likely hazardous planet, no, well, yes. I think it may be an idea to set people to a stage where we were controlling RC, trying to knock the boys out the place. window. And it was I so annoying because you kept me in the battery and really don't want to send the Beagle 2-2 down for a quick wrecking prior to making our own triumphant descent. The extra time will allow us to properly consider which 19th century member of the aristocracy to name this place after. Okay. Looks like we're going to a fan. Oh, I'm dropping this thing off right here. Oh, wow. Hey, look! Oh, God. Uh, oh, dear. I have the bad feeling that. They blew it up! Damn them! Damn them! Well, no, shit, I was getting my coat wrong. That's the statue. God damn it! They blew it up! God damn them! God damn them all the hell! Yeah, I've got a bad feeling about this. Can I drive up the Statue of Liberty to you? No, apparently I can't. Why not? Because physics. But it's a ramp. I am a car. Therefore I should be able to drive up it. It's not a flat, a flat a shape ramp, or is it? It's close enough. Um... What is that we have found? Oh, is this... Oh. Um. We are facing a second planet of the air. Yes, we are facing a kind of problem. What the devil? Someone's in a Jones! Quickly! We've been open humoured! Someone's got here before us! We need to find out who that Joy Well is and eject them from Her Majesty's new, new world post haste. Set us down! Okay. This new, new world seems to be rather. I'm guessing it's the old world in the future. No, that'd be too obvious. We'll stop it, Statue of Liberty. Yeah, but the Statue of Liberty is a dime a dozen. To use an American phrase. So, Sub Lieutenant Jones, what exactly do we know about this place? Well, it's an uncharted rock structure. Somewhere outside the range of what was previously understood to be the limit of human interstellar travel. I see. Uh, do we know anything more specific? I don't suppose you could enlighten the audience with anything a little more specific. Look, I'm called Alan Jones, probably the most generic, stereotypical Welsh name in existence. It's clear that whoever's writing this hasn't bothered doing a terrible amount of research. Okay. I wouldn't count on anything specific. How will we find How the road? How we go about finding the location of the Beagle 2-2? Presumably we have some kind of app for that. Hmm, I'm afraid not. We can't download one. Only cost 69p. <laughs> 69 pence? A bomb is free. <laughs> right, the plan is, we head out, walk around aimlessly, look at a load of stuff and this being a series of wry remarks, then start clicking everywhere until something happens. I linger in the background. Start cleaning things Why until something happens. Look at the wreckage of the Beagle 2 2. It's a rock. Hey, what's that? It's one of those situations where you're stuck between a rock and. well, more rocks. I'm afraid I have nothing useful to hand. Why do I get the feeling you're going to give that to the. the um, Monkeys? Yeah. 
The damn dirty apes. No doubt, filled with epic loot, as they say on the YouTube. Filled with loot. As I said on the YouTube. Mm. We don't say it's filled with loot, do we? Oh, we got binoculars. Ah, yes. <laughs> I don't like this guy. I was going to say, we, we retrieved binoculars and he goes, Mine? Mine. Okay, so where is the, um... See if you can kick... No, well, it's not going to give you the option, but see if it will actually, like, kick him off. Say. Something about how if I do that, the the, the, the something something crew will lost, I think. Okay, we've got more rocks. Oh, and some sand. Oh, and another rock! It's another Is that rock. a human? Uh, let's make it a rock. There are a lot of rocks. Gee, you what sure? an amazing observation. Clearly, you are yeah, on a parallel. Very rocky start. Mm. Clearly, your observational skills are unparalleled. Look, there isn't really much for me to work with here. Curiously, I mean, obviously, if I was a stone face, there'd be loads to work with. Are there any more rocks to look at? No? Um. Yeah, let's just, uh. Just a spaceship imperial eyes. As beautiful as she's subtle. Okay, so, yo, fool. What do your elf eyes see? Look for you, over there. Where? By that rock. We'll trouble you immensely to use our point of reference, Sublieutenant Jones. Fine, boy, by that gorilla. God, grief! That's the second biggest monkey I've ever seen. I think he's holding the beagle, too, too. Put that down, you damn dirty ape! Come on, Sir Lieutenant Jones! Let's get on! You knew it had to happen. Yeah. Oh, look, a ladder. It's a step ladder. <gasps> no, it's a rope ladder. <coughs> can I go interact with the Statue of Liberty now? No, we don't think we can. Why not? Because reasons. What is that metal piece? That is part of the Statue of Liberty. Which... It's not giving me an interact prompt, damn it. Why not? Damn, yeah, achievement, damn you all. Oh, what's this thing? Okay. It's another rock. Uh, that's a wheel. It's another rock. No, I'm talking about this blue thing. In front of the rock. I think it looks more like a packed lunchbox than anything else. Okay, we've got pieces we've got of... we pieces of machinery. Yeah. What the we've got heck? Heavy... A shrubbery! <gasps> no point leaving without a souvenir. <laughs> it really does look nice. It's not too expensive. Oh gods. Not a shrubbery. It looks really nice. And not too expensive. Then you must find us another shrubbery! Um wait what? Not so fast, you English mongers. Oh gods. It is a golden bone. This is a French dude, and his sidekick is a an addict. So, jaws. Oh God! Everyone here will eat clips and other French things. Ha ha ha! By clean path glories, by accepting the list of socials. By the power of Grayskull! We have to do that one. By the power of Grayskull! I am the power! Oh, 
What did he say? <laughs> oh man, dude, I can't believe you actually said that. Who did you? Mm -hmm. It's got the evil. Yep. I fear you underestimate the extent to which you can see in self-confidence fueled by national historical achievements. Can profit one in such circumstances? Lost one. <laughs> We've been perfecting this same method for centuries. <laughs> My wife is never on test. Because I don't have one. Okay, let's solve a juvenile puzzle. Give him the cheese! Monkey art reference! That's really? Yes. A free headed monkey! Did that? Oh, oh, yeah. I'm noticing that cod pieces are held on with Allen bolts. <laughs> no, I, I like that. That does a good throw back. I just noticed Concord for him. I, I, I like that. You, I, you, we lure them away with cheese. I suspect that will end up being the answer. However, first... Uh, We're out of time. Oh, yeah, okay. Well... Um, yeah, that, this is really cool. I mean, I like the yeah. references. I like how... <laughs> that shit insane it is. Well, yeah, it's one of them. Well, it's why every Steam game is like this. But I, 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 I'm enjoying the references. No. The Monkey Island reference was just... Perfect. Class. Well, it, it worked. Because it did, did, no, was, like, it, no, was no. it used exactly the same in Monkey Island <laughs> as an abstraction? Kind of, yeah, no, literally. In the first Monkey Island, uh, Guybrush gets um, well kidnapped, kidnapped, captured. Well, captured by vegan cannibals, and ah, one of, of the way, one of the ways he escapes them, or like whatever he gets, comes look, a free headed monkey, where? And then yeah, and it's like, it's a staple throughout the series, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, um. Yeah. I'm gone. I'm rewind. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.